I do see that there is a debate back and forth, but if I had to pick between the two, I would choose. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. A ho 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 and a Merry Christmas. Santa Claus brings you gifts, Anchor Claus brings you gifts. We got a brand new Hero Breakdown. Breaking out fat old jolly man Santa Claus. Santa Claus got 618 on his attack, he's got 830 on his defense, and 1437 on his health. Obviously his attack power is super low, he isn't getting any training up in the North Pole, but the beefy man is staying alive, keeping himself warm because he's got a ton of defense and health. He deals 150 damage to all enemies. He summons an elf minion for each ally with 10% HP and 10% attack inherited from the caster. All enemies get minus 34% attack for 3 turns and all enemies get minus 44 defense for 3 turns. He's running in at slow speed. He is part of the Monk Emblem class, which means that he might be competing against some really important Titan heroes, such as Wukong, Tarlac, or Wilbur, and also some really good defensive heroes such as June, Drake Fong, and Jabberwock. So you might have a little bit of competition there when you're considering your emblems. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To try the game out, all you gotta do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 50 gems, one energy refill, 100,000 silver, and one free champion, Adjudicator. All your treasures waiting for you right over here. I really love what Santa Claus does against Titans. Reason being is he's giving all of your heroes a minion that keeps everybody alive. He also makes it so you get minus 34% attack on the Titan, as well as minus 44% defense for three turns. Obviously, he's running at slow speed, which is a little bit of an issue. He is competing against a hero like Wilbur, who is also giving minus 44% defensive down as well. However, Wilbur is at four turns. Santa Claus is at three turns. Wilbur gives you defensive up against the heroes, and he's going to give them attack power down. So I do give a slight edge to Santa Claus. Reason being is he's a lot more beefier. He gives you also a minion to all of them. I do see that there is a debate back and forth, but if I had to pick between the two, I would choose Santa Claus. So he's going to get an overall grade of an A on Titans. Reason being is the attack power and defensive down, and he's giving you a minion for all your allies. When we look at what he does on offense, I really love what the hero does. Reason being is he's impacting all of the board. So when his hero special goes off, all enemies are going to get impacted and all your allies are going to get impacted. So I really love the, the dynamics and what he provides on offense. It could be a big issue getting the attack down and defensive down for three turns. That's going to really cripple a lot of the uh, defensive opponents you're going up against. So he's going to get an A grade there because he does impact the board quite substantially. When we look at what he does on defense, he's going to get an A grade as a tank. Reason being is because he's super beefy. Again, he's impacting all of the board and he's helping to keep all of your teammates alive. And he can't be just thrown a whole bunch of tiles into because you can't always have all your defensive down and your attack power down every time he goes off. So definitely an issue. He does get an A grade there. As a flank grade, he does get a B grade, mostly because he doesn't really impact as much. He does help out initially if he's in a tank, but as a flank, he definitely decreases. And it's only going to get worse from there. Going down to a C grade in the wing, reason being is there's no real point of giving all of those impacting abilities all the way to the wing because all their, all your heroes are probably dead by that point. But overall, on defense, he's going to get a solid A grade, mostly because of how much substantial abilities he has being a tank. 
When we look at what he does on a weekly raid grade, he's going to get an A-plus grade on rush attack, mostly because he's going to impact the whole board. He's going to change everything. He's going to give all your dudes life. He's going to go ahead and make it so their attack is all down, defensive down. He's going to go ahead and crush you. So I love him on the weekly rush grade. When we look at the buff attack, again, he's impacting all of the board. He's going to go ahead and impact their attack and defense. I love this hero both on offense and defense for the buff attack. Only issue, obviously, is running at slow speed, so that's why he's got an A grade there. And on Bloody Battle, he's going to get a B grade, mostly because in Bloody Battle, you're going to want to go ahead and use heroes that are going to be fast. And he might be a little bit too slow, even though he does impact a lot of the board. But an overall grade, he's going to get a solid A grade, mostly because he can be used on pretty much all dynamics of this game. I really love this hero, and hopefully you were able to snag him. Thanks so much for checking out the content. Make sure you go ahead and continue watching on the Hero Breakdown videos. There's a ton more that you can see. So go ahead and click through and watch the rest of the Hero Breakdown videos that I have going on. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next video.